Yeah, she just try to, you know, focus on the day, the day in hand and whatever you got to do. So, you know, we just practiced and, and you know, we figure out we're playing tomorrow, then we play tomorrow. And, and, you know, that's it. I mean, it's just our preparation is the same, obviously. Have to do the pre scouts and stuff, but uh, other than that, I don't think it changed anything. How easy, how easy is it just to wipe the slate clean as far as regular season numbers and everything else and just focus on this series? Yeah, well, the playoffs is always... It's, it's a new season, and you never know who you're going to face. But you know, if you want to be the champion, you have to beat everybody. So I think uh, you know we're focused on series at a time, and and now it's Montreal. And we're focused on them, and, and you know trying to get our our game where it needs to be in, in order to advance. Two of the best. You don't square off against Carey Price, but you face each other in terms of your goaltending situation. Do you relish the opportunity to face a guy with his reputation, the way he's played this year, right through the Olympics and now in the playoffs? No, it doesn't matter to me who moves on the other end. I think it's more more of a team thing for us, you know. He's a great goalie, obviously. He won the gold and had a great season, so so we need to figure him out, get, get some uh, bucks by him. But uh, for, from my standpoint, it doesn't matter. I just try to do the same thing as he. Does. Two can really help you. I mean, you, you face those guys so many times over the years now. I don't know. I, you know, well, they're they're you know quick genius, good speed, skilled guys. They like those in tight plays and, and a lot of rushes. So I guess every team ha have their tendencies, but for me, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you still have to focus just on that pocket down on the opposite field. Brendan Gallagher loves to get in everybody's face, including yours. How do you best adjust to him and deal with him? I don't care. It, every player tries to get in goalie's face. That's their job because you know you, you need to create traffic and have it in front of that net in order to score goals. So if it's if it's him or whoever, I don't, I don't care. That's, that's their job. But he walks that tight line. Yeah, that's, that's why there's good. refs, right? I mean, you know, I mean, um, I, I think the refs, at least to this point, they, they've done a great job protecting the goalies. And you know, sometimes the guys in the crease, sometimes he gets pushed in the crease, and it's it's a tough call for them. But uh, you know, we trust the refs that they make the right calls. Is there more net crashing at this point of the playoffs, Tuca, than than the regular season, even the first round? Yeah, I think a little bit. You know, it's just because every team tries to play tight defense, and and the goals are tough to come by. So you you have to you know drive the net and crash the crease, you know, in order to get those bounces. So I think it, the, the amount of, you know, traffic increases a little bit, but uh, I think it's it's still uh, in all good spirits. How much do you rely on your teammates, obviously, your defensemen, to kind of protect you in that situation? So you can just focus on the puck. Well, uh, yeah, they do a good job. You know, I, I don't think anybody necessarily tries to run you over, you know. They just try to get in the get in the crease and bang those loose pucks. So I think our defense's job is for, first and foremost to you know, take care of their guys. And you know, if something happens, somebody falls on you on purpose, then you obviously you know, do something about it. But uh, you know, uh, I think we're just trying to let me, me do my job and then RD do their job. And then if something happens, we're uh, reacting.